Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so, so, so sorry that I've been gone from uploading for a while. Things have just been super hectic. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know like kind of what's been going on with my life, but the big story is I moved. I am in a new apartment and please excuse the mess in the back. I have not had time to really organize anything, but I'm really, really excited to finally be able to just sit down and do an unboxing with you all. I have not been opening any packages that I've received just because I've been so busy and I also wanted to just save all my boxes so that I can do an unboxing with all of you here on YouTube. So today we are going to be doing a special one that Figpin has sent me. So I just want to say thank you to Figpin for sending this over. I was not expecting this package at all but I am really really excited about it because I have not been able to go to the Disney parks and this is the new wave of Disney pins so I'm really really excited to see them. All right we're just going to open it and see it together. Here's the inside, the wrapper. Here they are. These are the APs. I might do some giveaways with these, we'll see. I have a lot of giveaways planned out right now. So if you are not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me on there because that's where I do all of my giveaways. Um, but yeah, I got the, I, I think this is all of the new Disney pins that came out. I have not really um, been up to date with everything regarding fig pin just because I've been off of social media for so long. Um, but I, I'm really, really excited to see these. They look so good. Um, okay, let's start off with the one that I've been most excited about, which is Hades. This looks so good. I will also include B-roll just because it's kind of harder to see in this lighting. But look at that pose. I love that the Disney Parks pins actually look like really, really special. And I'm pretty sure they did a Hades in the Disney Villains box set, right? Yeah, this one looks so nice. And I was really excited for this one and the Hercules one because they come kind of like as a pair and I feel like you can't have one without the other. So yeah, I really like these two. They have not made a Hercules. Oh my gosh. Oh, the cape and the sword are glitter. That's so cool. I did not know that. So yeah, this is my first time seeing any of the Disney Parks pins in person. So I did not know that it has glitter on it. Does Hades have glitter? Uh, I don't think Hades has glitter, but yeah, the bottom of Hades is like cloak with the smoke trailing out and stuff. It looks, it's just so good. I, I think they really knocked it out of the park with these. No pun intended. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love, love, love glitter pins. So I'm really excited that Hercules is glitter. All right, next up are another duo. It's Scarlet Witch and Doctor Strange. And I'm assuming that these were released because of the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. These are the classic ones from the comics though. And this is like her like old, old original outfit. I really like the way these look. I've always said that I really love when Figpin does action poses because I think that's when like the art really, really shines and like their characters come through. So I'm really happy that they went with such dynamic poses for these ones. And I feel like the Disney Parks pins tend to feel like a lot more special. Like they have the different backer cards as well. They feel more quality. And I know that it's because they're like slightly more expensive than the typical exclusive fig pin. They're $25, I believe, instead of the normal 20. Um, but you are getting really, really good quality with these. Like the backer cards are a lot thicker and they have a textured pattern to it. So just to show you as an example, like this is the backer card for Scarlet Witch. You could see that it's like textured um, and it's a lot thicker than your standard like fig pin backer card. And then the back has the character, but it also is textured just on the character part. And then it has like her crown um, background too. So I really actually, now that I'm looking at it like up close, I really like this a lot. I'm really excited to finally have these in my collection. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep all of them, you know, just because they, uh, Figpin did send these to me and I do want to um, kind of give back. So we'll see what I do with these. But yeah, there is Scarlet Witch. This is what it looks like inside the case. So you can actually just display it in the case like this. You can also take the pin out and display it like 
with just the pin itself because it comes with these like backer these posts so that you can just take the post out and display it just with the pin i like to just keep it in the case just because i think it looks more special that way so the next one that i see is woody uh here is woody i'm not like the biggest like toy story watcher i don't know i like toy story a lot i just i don't remember really a lot of the story <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Wow, this looks really nice. Look at the backer card. It has the um, Sheriff Star as the silhouette. And then the Toy Story at the top also has the sheen to it too. The backer cards always have the character art on the back um, along with the backer card like pattern on it. But yeah, there is Woody. He looks super good. I like the fact that he's like kind of like running towards you looks very friendly i haven't seen these in the parks yet i haven't gone to the park so i haven't seen any of these but i'm really liking them so far this is the last one in the box it's stitch so i guess they just did kind of like a regular stitch i really like the way that looks he's it's super clean i tend to like the characters that are a little bit more simple because the, they just look really, really clean. And I'm pretty sure that some of you watching probably know what I'm talking about when um, I say I like the really simple characters because um, pins that are like, you know, Sanrio and like Gudetama, like the Hello Kitty ones, I really like them a lot because of how simple they are. They just look so clean when you see them up close. When you see them as pins, they just look really, really nice. So let me show you how Stitch looks. Look how clean that is. I just, I really like, um, I really like this a lot. And they also have the waffle pattern. So these are actual like Disney pins that you could trade with Disney pin trading. I used to collect Disney pins before I did fake pins. Now I'm like most, fig pins. This one is so cute. I think I might just like have to keep this one in my collection just because like I really really like the way this looks and I like this as a pin. It's super pretty and this is the backer card. Oh the backer card has like multiple different patterns on it which I like. It's one of the Disney classics and this is the back of it. I think the stitch one surprisingly is my favorite one from this wave. I thought I would like the Doctor Strange or Hades the most, but I actually think the stitch is my favorite. That is everything that was in the box. Once again, I just wanted to say thank you so much to Fig Pin Official for sending me these pins. I really enjoyed looking through all of them and um, I have to say that the stitch one is definitely my favorite one. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's been so long, so I'm really sorry for uh, not uploading in so long, but also thank you so much for watching if you've watched this far definitely leave me a comment if you want to see any other content let me know what was your favorite fig pin from this video and also don't forget to follow me on instagram i will be doing a giveaway hopefully soon once i get a little bit more settled into my apartment and i will hopefully be uploading a lot more frequently now that most of the chaos in my life has settled so yeah that is the end of my video <laughs> thank you again for watching don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already and with that, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!